January 2011. As the winter months begin to thaw, construction continues on our green home. Under the supervision of architect Anthony Musso, sustainable building practices are already in use at the construction site. I design my architectural projects like a sculpture. Uh, the same principles for a sculpture apply to the architectural form. The interior and exterior spaces and surfaces have a rhythm of form. The difference of an architectural structure uh, is that the design is for uh, an occupancy of the building. If it's a small lean-to structure or a multi-story complex building, the building has to provide a healthy, safe environment and the welfare of the inhabitants. To ensure the welfare of the inhabitants, a varying degree of building systems are woven throughout the structure. John Cook, the construction manager, ensures that each of the trades at work on this green home are functioning harmoniously and on time. Our way to ensure green construction uh, in this project is through First, through self-education, learning from the architect and his design, his ambitions, what he wants and what he needs to see happen on this site. As the key architect responsible for outlining many phases of the construction process, Muso must bring a variety of architectural and construction related skills into each and every house he designs. A building is a complex and dynamic changing structure. The interior and exterior environments are constantly changing and affecting the energy and vapor flows throughout the building. The techniques, materials, systems, and strategies used in a building performance design provide a safe, comfortable, sustainable, and maintenance-free structure. The building performance design addresses these concerns. Design that structurally holds up the building, a design that keeps the rain out, a design that keeps groundwater out, a design that keeps wind out, a design that keeps water vapor out, and a design that keeps the heat in during the winter, and a design that keeps the heat out during the summer. And finally, a design that keeps the noise out. Glenn LeMay of Home Energy Solutions inspects the site's progress and verifies the use of sustainable materials. We come out here uh, during uh, several stages of the construction doing inspection of the uh, quality assurance as well as uh, uh, testing uh, to make sure that what our trades have were required to get done is done. And um, as this house um, moves forward, uh, you'll see some tremendous uh, uh, improvements and innovative ideas that will help these people have a high performance home that they'll love to live in and be very comfortable. A major element of our green home's blueprint is the implementation of stacked stories to maximize available space on site. The use of multiple stories can reduce a home's environmental footprint and allow for greater efficiency for mechanicals. Then the question is, what does it cost? Cost has many components, value, quality, and global consequences. In regard to the SIP wall panels, that is a structurally insulated panel, the SIP wall construction is, is a composite panel. It incorporates the structure and it also has the insulating values uh, all built into the panel. That panel is, is installed as one component during the construction phase. A standard wall system composed of studs, sheathing, insulation, all require labor and time to put that all together. To have them equal requires a lot of labor and additional materials. Therefore, the, the, the net cost for doing a SIP wall is a lot less than if you did conventional framing. 
Resistance to natural elements is a cornerstone of sustainable building and living. A rubberized coating, known as monolithic membrane, surrounds the foundation of the building, creating a waterproof coating around exposed concrete. A capillary break between the footing and the foundation wall is also sealed in this fashion in order to prevent the introduction of water between interlocking parts. Despite the resistance to water created by construction materials, there remains the threat of water ponding around the exterior foundation. If left unchecked, enough ponding can result in damaging amounts of hydraulic pressure to the footing. This ever-present natural threat is kept in check through the use of footing drains, which run continuously around the house and empty into a nearby dry well. The dry well can in turn be used to store and redistribute water for soil irrigation. A super insulated structure will be less dependent on foreign oil and electricity to operate because of the efficiencies of the thermal barrier of the structure. The selection of local or regional renewable and reclaimed materials promotes local and regional economies. Through the planning and execution of this intuitive construction project, our green home takes one step closer to becoming a fully realized house of the future.